Hey folks, Rich here with FMS Models. Today I have a really unique airplane to show you from the Aerobatic series from FMS. This is the uh, 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 Yak 54 in the Russian Thunder paint job. Um, it is really just such a nice 3D aerobatic model for somebody who does a lot of 3D. We're going to put on a real nice 3D demo here for you. Um, most notably, the first thing that stood out on this airplane when I first saw it uh, and put it together was the propeller. They did such a tremendous job painting this propeller. This is the actual plane we used in the, in the demo. Um, uh, we, were, we were gritting our teeth doing some of the aerobatics, hoping we wouldn't ding this beautiful prop on the runway. Unfortunately, we didn't. Um, but along with the louvers, the nice uh, uh, spinner gap and fit of this thing, uh, they painted this thing up beautifully, just like the real Russian Thunder um, Yak-54. Um, what a nice model, guys. This is all EPO foam, painted just the way you see it. It's receiver ready, so all you need to do is put a receiver and a four-cell battery in it. Uh, building it was a total pleasure. Four screws for the wing, two screws for the tail, one to get the rudder in place, four for the landing gear that bolts right on. Most of the sub-assemblies, everything was pre-assembled. And your receiver and battery, and you go fly with this thing. Um, anybody who really likes doing some hard 3D will have a really fun time flying this airplane. It does nice axial rolls, hovers nicely. Um, overall, just really nice um, um, 3D package. Now, this plane runs on a really powerful 760 kV brushless outrunner. Um, um, we upgraded it to a 60 amp ESC and it runs on a four cell pack. Um, you can put any size in there you want. We're running a 2600 pack in this thing and it has a, a BEC uh, on board as well. That drives all four of the Metal Gear servos. It does have some pretty hefty Metal Gear servos in here um, because after all it is a, it is a 3D airplane and uh, it's very, a very aggressive flying airplane. One of the features uh, I want to show you guys uh, that's very neat on this thing and I'm going to point this out to Ron and we're going to focus right here on this uh, this, uh, this aileron surface uh, and the, the carbon tube hinge that, they, uh, that FMS has made on this. And the reason for that is so you can get tons of throw out of this. And as you can see, lots of aileron throw, lots of, uh, lots of uh, 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 travel for all the 3D flying that you want to do. And uh, as Ron pans out to the entire airplane, uh, you can see here that there's just tons of throw in all the surfaces. We maxed everything out. So anybody looking to do, you know, really hardcore 3D flying, you're going to find it in this model. It definitely uh, is, uh, is well designed and well suited for 3D flying. Um, it has, and Ron's going to zoom right here, there's a, a stellar pilot in there. Really nice cockpit instrument panel that I'm going to let Ron kind of zoom in on. Uh, comes just like this right out of the box. Um, again, all Russian Thunder paint job and everything that you see comes just the way you see it. I'm going to flip this up. There's two hatches here, actually, one on the top, one on the bottom. Top hatch is just to access your battery. Lots of space here so you can move this battery forward and back to get the CG where you want it for 3D flying uh, or just regular flying, uh, aerobatic flying if you want to. It's just tongue and grooves in there in place with magnets. Uh, as I flip this around, you can kind of get an idea of the size of this thing. It's a decent size. It's about a 13 to 1400 millimeter wingspan uh, on the airplane. The wings do come off for transport. Um, uh, which is nice so you can get it uh, to and from the, uh, the flying field. The other hatch I want to show you is right underneath here. You just pull this up and uh, here's your receiver bay goes. So uh, it's very convenient the way it's set up. Really all you need is a four channel, radio, uh, four channel uh, receiver to operate everything. One antenna I put right here, one antenna I put right here so they're 90 degrees to each other uh, to avoid uh, interference. Um, really tough landing gear on the airplane and of course um, super scale landing gear as well. So they put you know, your wheel with your half uh, wheel pant behind there, just like the real Russian Thunder has, the real Yak-54. Um, about the only other thing you assemble on this airplane is really just gluing your uh, exhaust uh, pipes on. Um, uh, very scale model, uh, really impressive uh, overall how it is. Um, the servos, again, real tough metal gear. You can set them up how you want to for maximum throw. Uh, as we zoom in on this one, you can see right here, I have this all the way on the outer hole, which is the way they set it up. I put this one up on the inner hole. Uh, and it's pretty much the same way for all the other flight controls. Uh, on the horn side, on the other flight controls, the elevator and the rudder, it's all, all the way on the inside hole, and on the horn, it's on the outside hole. And again, that really gives you that maximum deflection uh, for 3D flying, uh, which you'll see. Now, I'm also going to point the tail here at you, so Ron can kind of zoom in on the tail. 
you really just get such tremendous uh, throw out of this thing. It's very impressive how much movement you get out of the elevator and uh, how much you get out of the rudder. I mean, you can really max it out on this model stock from the factory. Um, anyway, guys, uh, that's enough said about it. Um, we're going to give you a flight demo of this. We're going to do this one a little bit differently. I got Luis Espinosa, who's an outstanding uh, 3D pilot, to give us sort of an unnarrated flight demo of this thing because he's busy flying it and it's kind of hard to talk while you're flying this thing because he does some pretty aggressive maneuvering with this, with this thing. Anyway, guys, uh, let's get on to the flight video uh, and enjoy the flight.
All right, guys, uh, as you can see from that flight demo, uh, this plane really is one heck of a 3D plane right out of the box. Uh, totally unmodified, just stock out of the box with a 2600 milliamp uh, four cell pack in there. Um, uh, as you saw from that pan shot, lots of cockpit detailing. Uh, they do put a really nice pilot in this. One of the things I really like about all the FMS stuff is they put pilots in almost everything, and they put a pilot that really kind of fits the genre of the airplane. Uh, anyway, guys, as you can see from that flying, um, just a stellar 3D airplane. Hovers nicely with, with plenty of power. Um, rolling Harriers, the works, guys. If you're a 3D pilot, you're looking for a relatively inexpensive uh, airplane that fits together real quickly, does some spectacular 3D. You know, look no further than the FMS Yak uh, 54. Just a phenomenal airplane. Anyway, guys, I want to thank everyone for uh, checking out this, uh, this video from FMS. Thanks for checking out FMS models, and as always, we'll see you next time.